Hey guys, Indy Prepper here. Another blade review. The last of my current sawmill cutlery line that I picked up a while back. This one is called the Little Sawmill Skinner. Little is L-I-L, -L, Sawmill Skinner. Um, little Sawmill Skinner is uh, also made out of a an old file Pakistani blade. Like I said, the rest of my reviews, again, not the highest quality, but durable as all heck. Uh, I can't imagine breaking this thing. Uh, over the sawmill cutlery line, so far the few I've got, this is probably my least favorite. Uh, probably because I've been carrying around too many blind horse knives, uh, patch knives and all that. It's not a bad blade. It'll get the job done, but I don't know. I'd probably prefer, prefer a Mora or my folder, that type thing. It's not bad. It's, of course, full tank, made out of a file. You can see that there. There's your file edges. Lots of jimping on the back. If you're a fan of jimping, this is your blade. I've never seen a blade this small with this much jimping. That's probably half the blade length there. Um, full tang, just like the rest of the sawmill cutlery line. Uh, this one, unlike the rest, does have a lanyard hole with a little cheap piece of leather here, which is, in my opinion, worthless. Um, you can't get your hand through that. I'd replace this with paracord, something like that. Again, the diamond wood on it is this rainbow multicolored style on it, which, as I said before in the camp cleaver, I am not a particular fan of. I just, I don't like the little rainbow color. Just pick a color, go with it. Minor complaint, doesn't hurt the fun former function. Now, what's interesting about this thing when you hold it, these grips, the scales are quite wide. Don't know if you can see that. So, just holding it this way in your hand is not the most comfortable. This is meant for skinning. This is meant for finer work. So, you're going to use all this jimping here and hold it like so. It holds and handles great like that. Don't like it for that. Uh, I'm not going to baton with this or anything else. Finer work. This, yeah, it's going to do okay. Uh, does not come the sharpest. Uh, this is the dullest of the blades that I got from Sawmill Cutlery. Sharpened up fine. Holds an edge okay. Not the best ever. It's not a Mora by any means. Uh, this thing's going to run you about six or seven bucks. So it's cheap. Knock around blade. You don't have to worry about beating it up. You can keep this in your toolbox or anywhere else you want to. And never, ever, ever feel bad about what happens to this thing. Uh, you're probably not going to ever break this thing, no matter what you do to it. Now, very similar to the camp cleaver, I'm not a fan of the file edge on it. It's quite broad. Don't know if you can see that. So it's not going to be particularly functional for uh, finishing up shovel edges and blades, that type of stuff, axes, etc., things that make it a burr on them you need to work out. That's actually what I prefer the Down Home Hunter and the rest for. They've got a good, good file edge on them that's going to have a lot of functionality beyond just the blade. Uh, this one, just too broad. Looks neat, looks pretty, not particularly functional. So, anyway, minor complaint there. Um, not why I got the blade. I just picked it up because I was order, making an order anyway, and it was cheap, and I said, you know, why not? Let's just try it out. You know, kind of bad about impulse buys. Uh, if you've seen my other vids, I just I kind of go nuts some nights. Uh, well, leather sheath, lower quality leather sheath, not bad. Uh, probably a better sheath than the other ones that I've reviewed, just because it's smaller. doesn't have the uh, extra little flare with all the little holes in the middle of it for the little weave on the uh, sheath like you have, say, here. On the large hunter, which I just I don't see a need for, but uh, it's decent, be decent little belt knife. It'll get the job done. It's not bad. Seven eight bucks. Nothing wrong with it. Again, it should have come sharper, in my opinion. Can't beat the price, so I can't really complain about that too much. Would I carry this out in the woods? Eh, probably not. Uh, I'd probably pick a Mora, and obviously owning blind horse knives, uh, I'd pick those, of course, first. A $50 knife versus a $6 knife. Yeah, I'm going to go with the blind horse. But uh, on a budget, this would be okay. This would be fine. But uh, I would probably only use this for skinning type purposes, that sort of thing. Um, could be better for some other things, maybe, but probably not my favorite. Anyway, not a bad blade for the 6 or 7 bucks I paid for it overall, as much as I sit here and complain about it. Anyway, the little sawmill skinner. My sawmill cutlery. It's all right. MD Prepper out.